Hey, welcome back. We said we'd go over stockpile management. So uh, if you're using our equipment management software um, to manage a stockpile during COVID-19, that might be things like your PPE, um, respiratory equipment, or a general just response equipment that you need during COVID-19. Let's take a look today at how D4H equipment management can help you. So I'm gonna cycle through a couple of tabs here for you to see. So here's an example of PPE. Uh, you can see we've got uh, all our supply levels of our different uh, types of items. And we can see here on a map, our, our equipment is spread between these two warehouses. Okay, so I can have equipment, my PPE is spread across different locations. Um, and uh, this will let me see exactly uh, what is in any location. So these are all batches or bundles of items. Okay, so going down deeper into PPE, let's click into an item and you'll see here, my equipment can have a location, can have makes, models, pictures, a status, quantities in the batches, weights, values, but very importantly, it can have expiry dates. And expiry dates are really important because it lets me uh, know exactly when something's gonna expire. So I can take a date range of my stockpile from this date to this date and see into the future what is going to expire. So you can see my N95 masks here expiring on the 1st of April, 2021. So this helps me budget for the renewal of my equipment. If we were to move from PPE and supply equipment into some more uh, physical items of equipment or reusable equipment, again, you can see here I'm in respiratory now. So within my respiratory equipment, I can see that it's spread between these two warehouses and here you can see what it is. So I've uh, flow meters, I've got oxygen cylinders, cannulas, all these different items. And down here we've got ventilators, expensive items of equipment. Let's take a look into our ventilators. So you can see I've got 16 ventilators over here in uh, Kansas City. And down here in St. Louis, I've got 25. Okay, so you can see these spread out, GE Healthcare, Carescape R860s. Um, let's keep going down in to what these are like. So on each one, I can see its location. I can see all of its details. And I'm gonna have a full history record of every repair done, all the service records, any movements between stockpile locations, or if it was deployed out to a state or other location. All of this is always printable. So here you can see an export of an inventory of all my ventilators, where they are and their service status. I can export anything to PDF or a spreadsheet from here. So it might be the contents of a warehouse, might be the contents of a container or a skid, or it might be by category or kind. You can set up inspections. So here, for example, is a ventilator self-diagnostic run. Maybe this is something I want to do every six months. It's going to remind me and prompt me by email and a notification on the dashboard in here. And then I can see all of my ventilators. And after my run is complete successfully, I can open up a comment past whatever I want to put in here as details. That's going to audit onto the item. I'm also able to initiate things like repairs straight away here and I can create a repair that's needed or a further workflow that's required. And with that repair workflow, that creates a list of repairs um, all the way through and across uh, the entire stockpile of what work has done as a record of completed, what's in progress and what's not started. And this will help you have an idea of what's in service or out of service at any time across your stockpile. All of our equipment links back up again into the funding sources, grants, supply levels, checklists. This is fully integrated across. If you have any questions on how to set any of this up, just reach out to us and we'll be delighted to assist you.